Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm playing either. Hello YouTube, this is Izzy. No twigs tonight, just me. Good luck. <laughs> and we're playing my butler, Forbidden Romance. The only thing I could say to this is, um, you know, I saw it and I laughed and I thought, what the fuck? So yeah, yeah, ooh. We get to, whoa, okay. We get to name ourselves. I will be Izzy Tana. Okay. Why? You may change your name at any time. Sweet! Please begin with the prologue. What the fuck is this shit? Ah, uh, the men of Yoshiwara. Okay. Prologue. Dudes. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Butlers are something you only ever see in movies or TV shows. Uh, I have bad feelings about this already. Normal average girl like me has nothing to do with them. Thoughts. From now on, I'm going to do things the way I want to. You're okay with that, right? Uh actor and butler. Oh. Uh. Uh, model. And butler. How are you, Dad? What? I... What? What? They already make money, why? Uh... On the way back from my college classes, two men suddenly appeared in front of me. I could, before I could ask their names, they took me with them. That's bad. That's bad. Soon I found myself at my aunt's mansion. That the, normal every day. Sure. Well then, Miss Izzy Tana. You didn't hear anything from Madame Eco? 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 I was informed that she asked you to take on some part-time work. What? Auntie Aiko is a beautiful go-getter who manages a famous talent agency. She's a hard worker and always kind to me. Someone I look up to, but she called me out of the blue a few days prior. Izzy, do you want to work for me? What do you mean? You don't have any more required courses to take in the fourth year of college, right? Yeah, I finished all my units, and all I have to do is write my graduation thesis. You know, I wish college was that fucking easy, Jesus. <sighs> Last year of college was fucking hell. Okay, sure. Believable. Yep. Hee <laughs> hee. In that case, here's something I want you to help me with. What's that? She told me it was easy. It came with free mail, so I applied without a second thought. Why would you have to apply? Why would you have to apply? It's your aunt. Your aunt is offering you a job. You just say fucking yes. That this was the job she was talking about? Yes, that's why I've come to get you. They smiled. Thank you. It was like I could hear their faces move. Okay. As they both smiled softly and nodded at me. Uh, okay. But before that, where's Auntie Aiko? And who are you? Whoa there. Pardon me, Miss Izzy. Ha! <laughs> okay. Uh... Hiroshima Hok Hokuto. Gazutait. I work in this mansion as a butler. Fix your tie. I am Kagurazaka Masaki. Also butler. Fix your tie. Butlers don't wear their ties like that. Look at that shit. Look look at that shit. That that just and it's not tucked in and you you have no vest. It's very upsetting. 
very upsetting. Uh huh. Uh huh. Three months. Three months. Sure. But what do I do? What's my job? In front of my wide open eyes, three men appeared. Button your shirt. <laughs> I felt like I was melting. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Smooch! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, it's just my hand. Okay. Kira Yosuke. Black rimmed glasses and had a comb. Intelligent air about him. How does everyone know why I'm here except for me? Why are they all kissing my hand? Uh huh. He had a gorgeous, charming, jet black hair. Seemed like the silent type. Yeah, okay. Oh! Hey, childhood friend. What an ass. So we've got a famous actor, overseas model, and idol, who is my childhood friend, apparently. Ah, uh, yes, why are you working as butlers? The lady at the house has left you a voicemail regarding that matter. Oh, voicemail? <sighs> Sorry for the urgent request, Izzy. These... Three men work for my talent agency, but none of them know how to treat a lady. They're either too rough or too inexpensive. That is awful. That is awful. That is awful. They don't know how to cherish their female fans. This is an awful, awful lesson. Okay. Um. Taking a break from their jobs as celebrities, and in order for them to learn how to respect a lady, they will spend the next three months as butlers. What? What? And just now remembering that I saw something on TV about this. Okay, sure, sure, sure. It makes no sense. No sense. Then, okay. Uh, they'll start working as celebrities again. If you disapprove, they'll have to continue their training. Really? Ah. Uh, damn right, they're not perfect. Yeah, that's not how a butler presents himself. My god. So which one do I get to call Alfred? Oh, I should have made my name Bruce. Should have been Bruce. So sad. Mm. Please choose the one that piques your interest. Uh... There's a deport the butler you've chosen. She's so strict. Okay. What? Right now? No, no, no. No, you're supposed to fucking woo me. Nice wild beast. Smells like trouble. Kira's easy to talk to, but he's a bit too composed and unemotional. Kamasaki is silent, unsociable, and blunt. But he's my childhood friend. Ah. Uh. Serious? What? I don't. But. But, 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 but. Uh. I do. But I. Well, fuck it. I apparently know him. Oh. I could build. Okay. Gallery? Oh my god. What did I get myself into? Oh, uh, okay. The main story, the sequel, and the date scenario. 
Okay. Let's see why you're an asshole. What was your name again? I've already forgotten. Among the many who fought that day was a warrior whose noble deeds gave others the courage to carry on. A warrior who was willing to sacrifice himself to save the many. Oh no. <laughs> well, it's better than being a banana. <laughs> a warrior of light. Actually, I look damn good, Commanding female voice, that's probably oh, that's me. you. Yeah. 